check out the new ClickSense Masterclass, which is out right now. A step-by-step -step learning program that's going to help you to get to the next level. It's got rave reviews and people are absolutely loving it. So don't miss out the chance. Enroll yourself now. Hey guys and welcome back. Um, thought we would look into concat function and um, how to sort it. So um, I have a little table here. I'm going to go in and write my measure. Essentially what I want to do is just concatenate all my order IDs into a single column just so I can have a look. Um, and of course, aggregate it across my other dimensions. And the other dimensions that I have here is country and customers. We just move this one here. So I have country, customers, and based on these two dimensions, I want to aggregate all my order IDs. So over here, I have a table which shows the different order IDs. And let's see what happens. So I'm going to say, Let's look at how the concatenate function works. Yeah? So I'm going to say concat. What do you want to concat? Well, I want the I want to concat the order IDs, but I only want the distinct order IDs. So I'm going to write distinct order IDs. Great. So then, then you put a comma. What do you want the separator to be? Uh, in my case, I'm just going to use a separator here. And this is a string. So we're going to put it under single quotes. Great. And now I'm going to say concatenate different order IDs, but you, you need to give it an aggregation, right? So um, we're going to say aggregate it across our customers and country. Cool. So let's see what happens. And now I get a bunch of order IDs, and this is exactly what I want. Um, but you know what? One zero one one five zero five nine one one six one. So you see that it's automatically sorted based on the ascending order, right? Um, that's how the natural sorting of concatenation concatenation works. So it gets sorted automatically. But you don't really want that because if you see here, my first order ID is zero zero one two seven nine. So it's not really uh, 1001059, which is actually over here. So I want the order IDs to be sorted based on how the orders came in. So you, you can actually do that with your concat. That is to give in a third parameter. And the third parameter here, so over here I've, I'm saying you're, you're giving in two parameters. One is the dimension that you want to be concatenated, and then you have the separator. What's the third one? Well, here you could give the sorting value. In our case, well, uh, we have order date. You could use something else. You could use like month, maybe um, anything that has a numerical value because month is a dual value. Um, even if the month is January, there is a dual value to it, which is one. So um, you could use that. Uh, in our case, we have order ID already. So we're going to use, sorry, order date. So I'm going to use order date as my sorting measure. And now when I apply it, here, the first sorted value is 1001279, and now you see that it's 1001279, and it follows the same structure here. So that's essentially concatenation, um, super simple, but I just want to show how you could use concatenate with uh, sorted weight. Hope it was helpful. Uh, I'm going to make another video on aggregation and you can actually sort aggregation based on um, by giving it a weight even in aggregation um, i think that's super interesting so check out the links below um, check out the master class and uh, please leave a like and subscribe that helps out a lot see you in the next one peace